all right guys so in this particular video we're going to talk about uh, the derivation of uh, the expectation and the variance of uh, geometric probability distribution so if a random variable x follows a poisson distribution with p being the probability of success you should already know that the probability of x is equal to r is equal to q to the power r minus 1 times p where q is the probability of failure and p is the probability of success and uh, q is equal to 1 minus p and uh, we also must know that the expectation is the summation of probability times the random variable so if r is a random variable the expectation must be summation r is equal to 1 to infinity r the random variable times the probability which is q to the power r minus 1 times p since p is not a function of r, I can take it outside the summation sign. So it becomes p summation r equals 1 to infinity r times q to the power r minus 1. Now if you look at the series r times q to the power r minus 1, this is same as the differential of the series q to the power r with respect to r. So if you do d by dq of q to the power r, that must be equal to r times q to the power r minus 1. So I can rewrite this as d by dq, q to the power r, still summation r equals 1 to infinity. When I look at q to the power r, that is a geometric series with first term q and the ratio q as well. Since it's a diminishing series, the value of q must be less than 1. So I can apply the sum to infinity formula to that a upon 1 minus r hence it becomes q upon 1 minus q i can differentiate the term q upon 1 minus q by using a quotient rule of differentiation which is v square 1 minus q square v into u prime minus u into v prime as i simplify it it simplifies to 1 upon p square multiplied by p becomes 1 upon p. Hence, the expectation of a geometric probability distribution is equal to 1 upon p. So guys, now we're gonna look into the derivation of variance of geometric probability distribution. To find the variance, we need to find out expectation of x square. And we know that expectation of x square is summation x square times probability. So for a random variable r, x square would be r square and probability would be q to the power r minus 1 times p. Hence expectation must be summation r equals 1 till infinity r square q to the power r minus 1 times p. Here p is again not a function of r so I can take p outside. By substituting the values of r I can write down the summation r square q r minus 1 as 1 plus 4q plus 9q square plus 16 q cube plus 25 q4 and so on and so forth now i'm gonna break the series so the original series i have is 1 plus 4 q plus 9 q square plus 16 q cube plus 25 q4 plus 36 q5 plus 49 q6 i break it up into sum of two series one being 1 plus q plus q square plus q cube plus q4 plus q5 plus q6 and then i write down the remaining number of terms since I've already written down 1, I don't need to write that. There was originally 4q, but I've written down q, so I have to write another 3q. Likewise, since there was originally 9q square, and I've written down q square, so to account for that, I have to add another 8q square. Likewise, it was originally 16q cube, so I have to write down an extra 15q cube, or 24q4, or 35q5, or 48q6. In the next step, I've taken 3q common from the second series and I've written it down as 1 plus q plus q square plus q cube plus q4 plus q power 5 and so on and so forth. And I've added the missing terms. So since I'm getting 3q square over here, but it was originally 8q square, to balance that I have added a 5q square. Since it was originally 15q cube, and I've written down 3q cube, so I've added another 12q cube. Likewise, originally it was 24q4. In the first series, I've written it down as 3q4 
and to balance it up added another 21 q4 and so on so forth so in the next step i've written the first series as it is second series also as it is but from the third series i've taken 5 q square common and after taking common i've written it down as 1 plus q plus q square plus q q plus q4 which was not the original series but if you notice i've added a 5 q cube but it was originally 12 q cube so to account for that I've added another 7 q cube. Originally it was 21 q4. I've added 5 q4. So I have to balance that I've added another 16 q4. Likewise, originally it was 32 q5. I've added 5 q5. So to balance it, I've added another 27 q5. Likewise, originally there was 45 q6. I have added 5 q6. So to balance that, I've added another 40 Q6. So if you might notice, if you look at the first series, the second series and the third series, and if I can keep on making series by taking the first term common, I will keep on getting a term of one plus Q plus Q square plus Q Q plus Q4 in all of them. So I can take that series common out from all of these series and I would be left with one for the first series, three Q for the second series, five Q square for the third series, and seven Q cube for the fourth series, and so on and so forth. The series, which was one plus Q plus Q square plus Q cube, it's an infinite geometric series with a ratio less than one. So I can apply a geometric series formula onto that a, which is 1 upon 1 minus ratio, which is Q. The second series I've copied as it is. 1 minus Q can be written down as P, and P and P would cancel out. So I would be left with only one series, which is 1 plus 3Q plus 5Q square plus 7Q cube plus 9Q4. Generally, I can write this series down as a sum of terms 2r minus 1, q to the power r minus 1, r from 1 to infinity. And hence, I can break this up into a difference of two series. One is with 2r and the other one is with 1. So this becomes summation r equals 1 to infinity 2r q to the power r minus 1. And the second one becomes r equals 1 to infinity q to the power r minus 1. From the first series, I can take two common. And again, if you look at the first series, the terms of the series are the differential of a series q to the power r. So I can write r q r minus 1 as d by dq q to the power r, where summation q to the power r is a geometric series and also summation q to the power r minus 1 is a geometric series. So I apply geometric series formula onto the first series as well as the second series. After applying the geometric series formula onto the first series, I can differentiate it by using a quotient rule. v square v into u prime minus u into v prime. The second series is copied as it is. If you simplify the numerator of the first term, that simplifies as 2 only. So it becomes 2 upon 1 minus q square minus 1 upon 1 minus q. Taking LCM and further simplifying it, it becomes 2 minus 1 minus q upon 1 minus q whole square. And hence it becomes 1 plus q upon p square. Now guys, this is the expectation of x square. Now, to find out the variance, I'm going to use the formula of expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square expectation of x square is something i've just found is one plus q upon p square expectation of x is something i found earlier on is one upon p so square of that becomes one upon p square simplifying the two terms together it becomes q upon p square hence for a geometric probability distribution the variance is q upon p square